What's going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. to get on here and uh, talk to my uh, talk to you guys about uh also when we get to the top five stocks that after all the short selling is over because they they could have their fun and I've been telling you guys this too. um the whole time it's a bunch of short selling going on bunch of naked short selling counterfeiting shares or whatever they're doing. It's not gonna last long. It's not gonna last long at all. Funny story, um I came down here uh yesterday and I was uh, I was in Brooklyn, I was on uh Avenue W Brooklyn subscribers that know I was on by the Walgreens on W I get out the car and this dude comes down on me, had the hat on it as usual. Right? So yo, you work for the company? I said, nah, I own the company. Yo, but yeah, um, I said, nah, what's up? He's like, yo, I see the, I see it everywhere. I see I see the AITX logo everywhere. Yo, I'm online, it's all I'm seeing. Uh, and uh, you know, he ain't know too much about it. I would I would have actually uh, wanted to do an interview, uh, you know, because this is, this is something that, uh, I don't want to get into this, it's a guys, so I don't know, we'll go all around, so I told him to do it, you know, certain stocks, you know, uh, people think of uh, certain things, but, uh, he ain't not too much, he just, uh, heaviest position but just because of the numbers that are going to start coming out and the moves that they're going to be making I think it's going to fly right so we'll go with number one this is over right we're looking months down the line AITX number one let's talk about number two number two I think AXXA XE group is heavily heavily shorted and uh, heavily manipulated right now the valuation is crazy cheap, it's crazy undervalued right now. And uh, I think once this is over, it's all gonna fly. We're not gonna get into exactly you know why, what the companies do. You guys can check out my other videos today. But uh I know a lot of you guys you know what wanna know how I feel and uh how I feel about the top companies that I think once we're past all of this that are gonna break through and make a lot of people a lot of money and it's a beautiful day out here by the way it's, it's 80 degrees in New York right now which I don't know we're gonna see what's up with the news later but it's probably a record um, I was actually talking to my mom earlier she said she ain't seen a, a day like this for 10 years it's been the, 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 the oddest she's seen it out here 70 degrees in March. She actually remembered the date and all that, but it's 80 degrees right now. Um, we ain't even hit April. Don't know how long this is gonna continue, but hey, it's beautiful. So Exit Group, that's my number two high flyer. Once Jane dies, that's number two. Number three. 
gonna have to go with Strike Force SFOR for number three. We got a pop on it today. Strike Force definitely popped today. Strike Force is one of the top most looked up stocks every other week. Every other day, it's definitely in the top tens or the top twenties. Heavily, heavily undervalued. Once the sales start coming out on that, mind you, just like AITX, just like artificial intelligence, Strike Force just started, just launched the product, and the sales are just now coming in. So once those numbers are shown, once all this shenanigans is over, we're flying. All right, that's number three. Let's get into number four. Number four, go with Clickstream, CLIS. CLIS. Just acquired the new blockchain company. You know, whatever they do, I gotta look more into that. Guys, uh, you know, I'm not I'm not just here. Uh, I don't wanna hear the makeup things. I didn't really look into what they're doing, but they just acquired the new blockchain company. Uh, you guys can explain in the comments whatever they do, but what, what intrigues me about uh, Clickstream the most, uh, it's the hey pal right win quick i believe we're trying to own 80 percent of win quick whatever the case may be but hey pal for me is where it's at and i think again heavily heavily undervalued right now especially for hey pal because it's going to be huge once those numbers start coming out without even hitting the main countries it's only out i believe in only 15 countries once that starts coming out we're flying i believe that's heavily short short sold as well heavily heavily undervalued and heavily manipulated right now clis for number four right i'm gonna get into number five right number five is actually a position i finally bought into yesterday right shout out to my guy misty diablo on this one i'm actually going to probably next week but uh But I started flying ever since then. It flew up, up to uh, actually uh, up to 50 cents. Uh, I didn't have too much cash at the time on the side. And I wasn't willing to sell out of anything to jump in that position. But but I like the company a lot at three cents. And um, I was watching it hard for the right time to get in. And uh, I finally got in yesterday at a little under a dime. It's none other than OCSC, right? I'm gonna do a whole breakdown of that video. I think uh, with all the Navy uh, contracts, everything they're doing, with all the catalysts they have, I think right now it's heavily shorted. And I think maybe that's one of the ones that can take off. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets to a dollar this year along with AITX. OCSC, those up court. That's my top five. Uh, so you to all you guys holding strong. We're gonna get through this. This is just uh, you know, I could be totally off on this. If you guys watch. One of the interviews, I believe it was either the Ozzy interview um, or the Paul's Pigs. He said he has uh, he got lawyers involved in too. Um, Steve, uh, that is, um, he got lawyers involved into helping the shareholders, right? I could be totally off on this, but just a shot in the dark. This might have something to do with um, withholding an investigation into uh, what's going on 
uh, with the short sellers, with these corporations, and uh, maybe that's what he's getting them involved in, uh, you know, to, to put a stop to it. But who knows, it could be anything, we'll find out soon. Saw a tweet today uh, from Steve, uh, one or two PRs next week. 22 orders going out. Steve, keep them coming because I wouldn't be surprised when this is all over, we have 50 to 100% pops on the right. Won't be surprised. Um, salute guys, anyways, have a great week and I'm gonna get back with you.